Welcome to I Grow You Grow. That is, this is Mr. Anderson. Wanted to show you guys my seed starting process. And this being February, this is National Indoor Growing Month. So, congratulations for that. And these are my seed sales that uh, you can purchase from any home improvement center or garden center and I use high quality potting soil to fill the cells and it comes with a cover that allows you to hold in the moisture as the seed germinates but if you don't have that we have other options for you and the other option would be old egg crates, the biodegradable type or the cardboard type and you can fill this with high quality potting soil as such and you plant your seed in there and spray it and then when you get ready to Put your seed in the ground, you can just use some scissors and cut each individual one out with scissors and plant it directly in the ground and it will break down for you. So, planting seeds is no super duper trick. If you were planting your pepper seeds, Pretty much want to follow the directions on the seed pack and have lots of suggestions. You want to know your zone, and according to your zones, you will be able to tell when to plant your when to plant the variety that you have in the ground. And if you have like squash seeds they have a point on them and you want to tip and trick when you plant your squash seeds you can see that it has a point at the top you want to make sure that when you plant that you put that point facing down down and when you plant the point facing down it will germinate a lot faster that's a tip and trick plant that and you spray it in with your spraying hose or spray bottle and you put your lid on it and you want to create some type of grow towel and I'm going to show you guys my grow towel Let's take a look at the grow towel. Alright. Back out of there. This is my grow towel, which is just a shelving unit that I had and I repurposed it into a growing towel. I have plastic wrapped around the growing towel. I have some clips holding the plastic in place my woodworking clips so had a plastic wrap around do the clips and unveil the growth wow like I said I started this in January and I moved it under the lights, you can see how I set up the lights. These are just underneath the cabinet lights that I have in there. And I also have it sitting on some bricks to raise it up because you want your plant about three inches away from the light because they will reach for the light. And what I have here is several varieties of peppers. 
Hot peppers, bell peppers, habanero peppers, pop, uh, poblano peppers, scotch bonnet peppers. And in here, I have my patty pan squash. These are all squash plants that I have grown them in the trays. And I'll be setting these out as spring approach. We got 20 days for spring, so instead of me going out there and planting the seed, I have the plant already up and running. And I also have cucumbers here looking pretty good. The cucumbers are looking pretty good. And then my tomatoes. All my variety of tomatoes, and I'm growing a lot of bush tomatoes this year. And the reason I'm growing the bush tomatoes because I am in a suburban setting, and I don't want to have these big six, seven foot tall tomato plants growing in the back. I want the garden to be aesthetic to the landscape, as not to eye raise any eyebrows because contrary to popular belief is a little taboo to the average person so what I'm doing now you can see my tomato plants are getting fairly tall so what I want to do is I want to put these in pots because as you can see some of them are growing too tall and starting to lean over. So I'm going to put these in some pots. And another thing that you'll notice, if you can, let me zoom in on this. You can see that the stems have little hairs on them. And the tomato plant, these little hairs will turn into roots if you bury them in the soil. So what I want to do is I want to create a deep, deep root system with these tomato plants. And I'm going to set this on a tripod so you guys can see what I'm doing. Once again, this is the I Grow You Grow kitchen garden. Well, my kitchen garden is your kitchen garden, so I'm sharing these experiences with you guys so you'll be able to see. So what I have is I have pots that I've made from strips of crepe paper. It's this one regular sheet of crepe paper that I've made and I will set the camera up so I can show you how I made this pot. But I'm going to put that process in to show you how to make this pot, but I'm going to show you what I do with the pot first. So I'll take some high quality potting soil Put a little so I'm going to I want just the top two leaves out of the soil. So I got them down in there deep and just the top two leaves is what I want out. Then I refill that with my potting soil and that whole stem that was down in there will become root and I'll, I'll moisten this up and put it back under the light in the grow tower 
and allow this to continue to grow for about 20 more well till April 1st because I'm in zone 7 so I'll wait till April 1st to put these out and then by this time it, the plant will be up much higher but all of this will be root structure and then of course when I get ready to pull it out I take this paper clip off and then I break this out it should have some roots growing at the bottom break this out and plant it in the hole deep and this paper clip is a plastic coated paper clip I've tried the other types of paper clip the regular kind they add oxidation and I don't know if it really hinders the growth I think it does but it doesn't look like a healthy process so I put the plastic on there because when that regular paper clip get wet it oxidizes so that's the process of taking it out of the cell making it deep so you can have a good good root structure and the root structure as above so below so if you want healthy plants above you got to have nice strong healthy roots below so that's one process now let me uh, show you guys how to make that pot 